Hello everyone, it is me, your Ukrainian teacher Olya here. It's been a while since I had a chance to say these words. I'm very excited to be able to film this video today for you. And it is a video on how to say I need in Ukrainian. I have received several comments of people asking me to clarify one thing or another considering this uh, topic and I decided that the best way to answer your questions would be to film a video. Before we get to learn how to say I need in Ukrainian, I would like to take a moment to say thank you very much to everybody who is supporting my channel still, even though I am not posting uh, regularly at this moment for reasons that are not up to me to, to change, um, unfortunately. So the fact that you uh, stay with me and keep supporting me really truly means a lot so thank you very much you can see the names of some of my patrons on your screens so i just couldn't really fit all of them onto the screen but really really your support is truly appreciated so if you uh, are somebody who um, is watching maybe my video for the very first time so I would like you to know that I am sharing uh, the materials that I've been using in my videos, such as this particular presentation. So if you would like to be able to download it, um, you can do that on my Patreon. I will leave the link to my Patreon down below and now we can finally start learning. So how do we say I need in Ukrainian? So the way we say I need in Ukrainian is going to be different depending on what it is that we need. Do we need to perform some kind of action? Do we need to do something? Or do we need a thing which can be expressed by a noun or a pronoun? Okay, now let's let's take a closer look to that. So what if we want to say that we need to do something? Okay, and for the actions, for doing things in language, we have a part, a specific part of speech responsible for that called a verb, dieslova, right? The words that describe actions. So, in order to say I need to do something, we say many potribno. Many potribno. Okay, and then the verb, the action, the thing that you need to do in the form of infinitive. Okay, what's an infinitive? An infinitive uh, verb in Ukrainian would typically end in ты or тися, okay, if that's a reflexive verb. So an infinitive verb answers to question to do what, okay, шторобеты, to read, to sleep, to go, to eat, to walk, etc. Okay, so in Ukrainian the verbs like that would typically end in uh, ты or тися, okay. So for instance, мені потрібно прочитати цю статю. Sentence number one. Мені потрібно прочитати цю статю. I need to read, прочитати, to read, or to have read, uh, цю статю, this article, okay? Мені потрібно що зробити? I need to do what? Прочитати, okay? Or another instance. Мені потрібно відпочити. Мені потрібно відпочити. I need to relax, to take rest. Okay, відпочивати means to take rest. So, мені потрібно відпочити, I need to, to have a rest, to take rest. Another instance, мені потрібно завтра рано встати. Мені потрібно завтра рано встати. So, I need tomorrow, завтра, рано встати, to wake up early. Okay, а мені потрібно завтра рано встати. Tomorrow, I need to wake up early. Мені потрібно більше працювати. Мені потрібно більше працювати. Більше means more, працювати means to work. So we can translate that as I need to work more. Мені потрібно більше працювати. Another instance, мені потрібно сходити на концерт. Well, I'm a big fan of some singer or a band and I need to go to the concert. Мені потрібно сходити на концерт. Okay? Otherwise, I will be very unhappy. And the last sentence. Мені потрібно розважитись. Мені потрібно розважитись. Розважитись means to have fun. So I need to have fun, right? After a lot of work, after being exhausted at work or like doing the same routine over and over again, 
I need to have fun. Мені потрібно розважитись. Okay? So again, if we are talking about needing to do something, to perform a certain action, we are using a verb, we are using the infinitive form of the verb, which typically in Ukrainian ends in ти о тися. Прочитати, відпочити, встати, працювати, сходити, розважитись, попрощатися. Мені потрібно попрощатися. I need to say goodbye. Uh, мені потрібно скупатися. I need to, to take a bath, etc. Okay? But what if we need something that can be described by a noun or a pronoun? Let's take a look at that. So if we are dealing with nouns or pronouns, we need to consider their gender, right? Because in Ukraine... In Ukrainian language, um, nouns have three genders. And also we need to consider the number because plurals will have different uh, endings as well. And we need to keep in mind that we are keeping these nouns, the ones that we need, right, that, that express our need, in nominative case. So let us take a look. So if, for instance, something that you need can be expressed by a masculine Ukrainian noun, singular masculine noun. Um, we would say many potriben. Okay? Many potriben. For instance, many potriben novy budinok. I need a new house. Or many potriben spravzhny druh. I need a true friend, a real friend. Okay? Many potriben advokat. I need a lawyer or an attorney, okay? Мені потрібен адвокат. Мені потрібен лікар. I need a doctor. Мені потрібен перекладач. I need a translator, okay? For masculine nouns, мені потрібен, okay? If we have a feminine noun, then we would say мені потрібна, okay? Мені потрібна. For instance, мені потрібна допомога. I need help. Мені потрібна допомога. Or, мені потрібна подруга. I need a female friend. Мені потрібна подруга. Мені потрібна порада. Порада means advice, so I need advice. Мені потрібна порада. Мені потрібна вища освіта. I need higher education or I need a degree, right? To take this position, to get this job, I need to have a degree. Мені потрібна вища освіта, щоб отримати цю роботу, in order to get this job. Мені потрібна родина. Мені потрібна родина. I need a family. So, that's that. But what if we have, for instance, a neuter noun? Uh, for instance, мені потрібне добре слово. I need a kind word. Okay? Мені потрібне добре слово. From somebody, right? I'm feeling down. I really need somebody to tell me a kind word. Or, мені потрібне яскравіше світло. Мені потрібне яскравіше світло. I need a brighter light, right? I, I'm reading, for instance, or I am embroidering or anything else, right? I need a brighter light. Мені потрібне яскравіше світло. Or, you are going to leave and you need your coat, okay? Мені потрібне моє пальто. Мені потрібне моє пальто. I need my uh, coat, my jacket. Okay? But if we need many things, if we are dealing with uh, a plural noun, then we would say мені потрібні. Мені потрібні. Okay? For instance, мені потрібні Гроші. Гроші means money. That is a plural noun in Ukrainian. So, мені потрібні гроші. I need money. Мені потрібні ваші поради. I need your advice um, in plural. Мені потрібні ваші поради. Or, мені потрібні хороші друзі. I need good friends. Мені потрібні хороші друзі. So, again, the way to say I need in Ukrainian when it comes to nouns or pronouns is going to depend on the number of a pronoun, right? If we have plural, then we would say many potrybni. And on a gender. So, if we have a masculine gender, we would say many potriben, 
новий будинок. If we have a noun of feminine gender, we would say мені потрібна, for instance, допомога. If we have a neuter noun, we would say мені потрібне, let's say добре слово. I need a kind word. Okay, so how do we make a negative statement? How do we say I don't need? Well, that is very easy. We just take a Ukrainian equivalent of English not, which is ne, and add that in between two words. Мені and потрібен, потрібна, потрібно. We say мені не потрібен, мені не потрібна, мені не потрібне, мені не потрібні, okay, etc. For instance, мені не потрібна твоя брехня. Мені не потрібна твоя брехня. Um, I don't need your lie, okay? We can also, like in Ukraine, we don't really care much about the word order. So we can say, мені твоя брехня не потрібна. Or, твоя брехня мені не потрібна. Okay, so that doesn't really matter. The only thing that uh, we would keep together, не and потрібна. Okay, so не comes before потрібна. And the rest, you know, j just play with the word order as you like. Another instance, sentence number two. Мені не потрібні ваші поради. Мені не потрібні ваші поради. Ваші поради, plural. Мені не потрібні ваші поради. Or we can say, ваші поради мені не потрібні. Your advice to me not needed, okay? I don't need your advice. Мені не потрібен новий будинок. Мені не потрібен новий будинок. I don't need a new house. Мені не потрібне яскраве світло. Right? My, my eyes hurt when, when the light is too bright. I don't need a bright light. Мені не потрібне яскраве світло. Мені не потрібна допомога. Я усе можу зробити сам. If you are a male person and if you are a female person, you would say я усе можу зробити сама. Сам or сама means by myself. Okay? So мені не потрібна допомога. Я усе можу зробити сам or сама. I don't need help. I can do everything by myself. Okay? Я усе можу зробити сама. Okay, so now I'm ready to say thank you for watching and bye to those who just wanted to uh, learn how to say I need something in Ukrainian. But to those of you who crave knowledge, who really likes to dig deeper into these um, grammatic rules. Let's break down, let, let's learn a bit more about how this scheme works. We really in Ukrainian use this inversion, inverted version of uh, the I need phrase, right? We don't say I need something. We technically, we have a verb uh, for that. Потребувати, okay, to need means потребувати, so я потребую води, о я потребую друзів, о я потребую, etc, etc. We can say that, but we usually don't. It is better to say this inverted phrase, which is to me needed this and that, okay? To me needed this and that. Мені, to me, потрібен, needed Mm, a new house, right? To me needed a new house, to me needed a friend, to me needed uh, more sleep, etc, etc, okay? So the scheme is a noun or pronoun in dative case, right? So the person who is needing, who is in need, should go in dative case. Ja, a personal pronoun, which means I. But to say I need, we say to me in dative case, right? Then we say potrібно, if we are dealing with a verb, then we use the verb, the infinitive verb, right? Мені, to me, in dative case, потрібно йти, I need to go, okay? О, мені потрібно більше спати, I need to sleep more, to me it's needed to sleep more. Or, if we are dealing with a noun, the same thing, a noun or a pronoun, the one who is in need should go in dative case to me, to them, to us. It is needed. Potrieben, potrieben, potrieben. Okay? Plus the noun in nominative case. The good news, the thing that is needed, the need, 
is expressed by a noun in or a pronoun in nominative case. So at least there we don't need to think or worry about cases. So now that we have learned about that, let us make some revision for dative case for personal pronouns. So um, in nominative, to say I, we say ya, yeah, but dative case, to whom, komu, to me, many. Okay, so to say uh, I need, we would say to me is needed, many potribno, okay, or many potribna, or many potribne, or many potriben, okay. You singular, ты, but in dative case, to you, to be, to be. So, to you is needed, to be potribno, okay? Vin, he, but to him, yomu. So, he needs, we would say, to him is needed, yomu potribno, okay? Vona, she, but dative case, to her, okay, to whom, to her, so to her is needed, she needs, ji potribno, okay, vono, it, neuter gender, behaves exactly like the masculine vin, so to it, it's needed, yomu potribno, let's say a little kitten um, needs food, it needs food, to eat, the food is needed. Yomu potribna jiža. Or košenjatku potribna jiža. To a kitten, the food is needed. Me, meaning we, but to whom? To us, nam. Nam, okay? So, we need, or to us is needed. Nam potribno. We, you plural or respectful form v dative case to you a uh, vam vam so vam potribno to you plural is needed vone them but dative case to whom to them yim okay so um yim potribno yim tse potribno they need this or they need it yim tse potribno Okay, or yimce ne potribno, they don't need it. Okay, to make a negative statement for a difference. Okay, and now that we not only know how to say I need, we know how to say he needs, they need, we need, etc. He needs, she needs. Let's take a look at more sentences. Uh, number one, meni potribna kava, a yomu potriben chai. Meni potribna kava, a yomu potriben chai. I need coffee and he needs tea or but he needs tea. Nam potribne vino, a jim potribni in shi napoji. Nam potribne vino, we need wine or to us is needed wine. A jim potribni in shi napoji and they need other beverages or other drinks. Okay? In shi napoji. Vam potribna slava, a nam potribna karjera. Vam potribna slava, you need fame, you need glory. A nam potribna karjera, but we need career. Another instance. Jim potribno pracjuvati, a tobi potribno vidpočivati. Jim potribno pracjuvati, they need to work. A to bi potribno vidpočevate. And you need, or but you need, to relax, to take rest. Okay? Another instance. Ditjam potribna horosha osvita. Ditjam potribna horosha osvita. Again, nominative for children is diti, but dative, ditjam. Ditjam potribna što? Horosha osvita. Okay, so horosha osvita, both nominative case, but ditjam, the ones that do the needing, the ones that need go in dative case, but then the need itself, the thing that is needed, goes in nominative. Another instance, 
Людині потрібні друзі. Людині потрібні друзі. Людина means a human being, right? A person. Потрібні друзі. So a person needs friends. Okay? Потрібні друзі, because друзі, friends, nominative case, therefore we have потрібні. And the last one. Студентам потрібні хороші матеріали. Студентам потрібні хороші матеріали. The students need good materials. Студентам потрібні хороші матеріали. And now, the way we like to do it here on this channel, it is time to practice, finally. So I have prepared, like, I think around 15 instances, 15 different sentences that you are going to make. Okay? So I will give you the subject, somebody who needs something, and then the need, the thing that they need, okay? Either action or a noun, either verb or a noun, okay? And you are going to make a sentence out of it, okay? So the number one is вони, meaning they, and незалежність means independence. So the sentence that you are going to make is they need independence. That, but in Ukrainian. Okay, so if you need time, just like press the pause button and then I will give you the correct answer. So the sentence is Jim potrібна незалежність. Jim potrібна незалежність. Okay, so вони in dative case become Jim. Uh, незалежність is um, feminine, singular. So we use uh, потрібна. So, їм потрібна незалежність, okay? Or independence is needed to them, okay? Number two. Діти рано вставати, and then some extra information, у понеділок. So, діти рано вставати у понеділок. So, children need to wake up early on Monday. Take your time. And the correct sentence is Дітям потрібно рано вставати у понеділок. Or, again, we can say у понеділок дітям потрібно рано вставати. The word order doesn't really matter in Ukrainian as much as it does, let's say, in English or German. Next one. Я... Завтра, a piece of extra information, tomorrow, йти на роботу, but let's make it a negative statement, meaning I don't need to go to work tomorrow. And the sentence is, take your time, мені не потрібно завтра йти на роботу, or завтра мені не потрібно йти на роботу. Or, мені не потрібно йти на роботу завтра. Okay? So, the key thing is that we use я in dative case, which is мені не потрібно завтра йти на роботу. Because йти на роботу, to go where, йти is a verb, therefore we say потрібно. Okay? Next one. Друзі, причини для зустрічі. Okay, so причини для зустрічі means reasons for meetings, right? And let's make it a negative statement. So let's say that friends don't need reasons uh, for meetings, for meetups or for to hang out, okay? Um, take your time, make a sentence, and the correct answer is Друзям не потрібні причини для зустрічі. Друзям не потрібні причини для зустрічі. Next one, number five. Пан президент – точна дата. Пан президент, which is an equivalent of Mr. President, точна дата means the exact date. So to say that Mr. President needs the exact date, we would say in Ukrainian, пану президенту – Потрібна точна дата. 
panu prezidentu potrebna točna data. Mr. President needs the exact, the precise date. But if you said panovi prezidentu, you were correct as well. Because in dative case, we have this parallel endings, which you can use whichever one you want. So either panu or panovi, prezidentu or prezidentovi uh, works just fine. Next one. We have two subjects now. We have Svitlana i Stepan and Veliki Hroshi, meaning big money. Okay, so now we have plural. And the correct sentence in Ukrainian is Svitlani i Stepanu potrebni Veliki Hroshi. Maybe they want to buy a big house or whatever. I don't know what, what they need the big money for, but that is the sentence that we should end up with. So Svitlani, in that's dative case for Svitlana, is Stepanu, or you could also say Stepanovi, because parallel endings for a masculine singular, right? Potrebni veliki hroshi. Next one. Zavode Ispanii novi kvalifikovani pracivniki. So Zavode Ispanii means the plants of Spain, novi kvalifikovani pracivniki, new qualified uh, workers. Th that's just my imagination. Don't quote me on that. So in order to say that the plants of Spain need new qualified workers, in Ukrainian we would say, zavodam Ispanii potrebni novi kvalifikovani pracivniki. Okay? Zavodam Ispanii potrebni novi kvalifikovani pracivniki. Next one. Narod rišuči dii uredu. So, narod means uh, the nation or the, the people of a certain country. Rišuči dii uredu means decisive actions of government. government. Okay, so we are dealing again with a um, plural. Rišuči dii, the actions, the decisive actions, many actions. So the sentence is Narodu potribni rišuči dii uredu. Narodu potribni rišuči dii uredu. Okay, the people need the decisive actions of the government. Next one, number nine. My zmine. Okay, so we want to say that we need changes. Zmine means changes. Again, plural. So beware of that uh, when you are making your sentence. And the correct sentence is nam potribni zmine. Okay. Me, we, but to whom, in dative case, nam potribni zmine. Next, ten, vone, svoboda i spravedlivist, but let's make it a negative statement. So vone means they, svoboda means freedom, i spravedlivist, spravedlivist means justice. So they don't need freedom and justice. Um, take your time. And the correct sentence is Jim ne potribni svoboda i spravedlivist. Again, here we used the form for plural because svoboda and spravedlivist, um, freedom and justice together are two things, right? Th that, that makes it plural. And vone in dative case is jim. So, Jim ne potribni svoboda i spravedlivist. Next one. Oleg i ja. So I decided here to mix a name and a personal pronoun. Nova kvartira. Oleg i ja nova kvartira. So Oleg and I need a new apartment. Take your time. Take all the time you need. And the correct answer is Olehu i Mani potribna nova kvartira. Or if you said Olehovi as well, correct, because that's how dative works. Parallel endings. Olehu, either Olehu or Olehovi. 
i meni and to me, so to Oleg and to me, the new uh, apartment is needed. Potrebna nova kvartira. Next, moja rodina, stabilnost i bezpeka. Moja rodina means my family, or rather my extended family, the big family. Stabilnost, stability, i bezpeka, and safety. So my family needs stability and safety. Moji rodini potrebni stabilnost i bezpeka. Moji rodini to my family potrebni is needed stabilnost i bezpeka. Stability and um, safety. So stability and safety that makes two, right? That's why we use the form for plural. Number 13. We and we, we, we've completely forgotten about the verbs, so let's work with verbs now. Ви виконувати цю вправу двічі на день. Ви, meaning you, plural, виконувати цю вправу, to do this exercise, двічі на день, twice a day. So you need to do this exercise twice a day. And we will have, вам потрібно виконувати Цю вправу двічі на день. Вам потрібно виконувати цю вправу двічі на день. So you need, to you is needed. Um, ви becomes вам. Ви becomes вам in dative case. Потрібно виконувати цю вправу двічі на день. Number 14. Ми лише перемога. Okay, so ми means we. Лише перемога, only victory, okay? Only victory, or just victory. And a sentence we will end up having to say we only need the victory. Нам потрібна лише перемога. Нам потрібна, to us is needed, лише перемога. Нам потрібна лише перемога. And number 15, the very last one, вона... Новий телефон. She, new phone. So she needs a new phone. In Ukrainian, ji potriben novy telefon. Vona, in dative, becomes ji potriben novy telefon. Because the phone, the new phone is masculine singular, therefore we used potriben. And if we say that she doesn't need a new phone, we would say ji ne potriben novy Telefon. Okay, so this is all I wanted to tell you on the subject of uh, saying I need or I don't need in Ukrainian. If you still have any questions, do not hesitate and leave them down below in the comments. I will be glad to read them and hopefully uh, when I have time, answer them. If you enjoyed this video, do not forget to give it a thumbs up. Many potrebni vaši palci vhoru or a thumbs down if you didn't. Uh, also, do not forget to subscribe to my channel so that we can learn Ukrainian together. And I will see you in my next video, hopefully very soon, but very unlikely that very soon. But I'm doing my best. So see you then. Bye.